Hey guys, Gassy TV here with another Path of Exile video. In this one, I'm going to talk about the Absolution gear progression and how you can progress the build from low budget into being able to kill in-game bosses. I decided to make this video in the middle of the fight because I'm here with level 83 with absolute trash gear, which I'll show you after this fight's over. Gazzy has a tiny penis. Hello, YouTube. Hey guys, Gassy TV here with another Path of Exile video, and in this one, I want to talk about the Absolution gear progression. We are killing the Eater of Worlds Pinnacle endgame boss at level 83. Capped resistances, almost nothing in Chaos Res. We brought the build up to be able to comfortably do tier 16 maps. I do want to say that there is a couple things you need to stay clear of and be aware of when it comes to this type of low level gearing. It is basically a 14% minion damage wand with plus one minion skills with a trigger craft. A little bit of cast attack speed there as well. This is a very, very cheap initial upgrade, which is, should be one of the first upgrades you want to go for when you go from low body doing through the campaign into actually playing through the maps. I've been doing this with a Tabitha Rasa and a mere 4.7k life. I have Algor Morris with good rolls, which costs 3 chaos. We have a 5 chaos darkness and throne, and jewels in the build that cost about 5 chaos each. Outside of that, the rest of the gear is absolute trash, being in the form of HP, movement speed, rest boots, stats and life on the rings, stat lights, and also some minion resist on the other ring to make sure my minions have capped elemental resistances. An amulet with a grave pact anoint together with stats and resistances and also very bad HP. The shield is not a recovery on life shield yet. Has some generic HP and that's it with some resistances. The helmet has a plus one level of minion skills with 25 HP. Hence why we're not even at 5k life with this character. And we've been able to comfortably run up to tier 16 maps with this build. With pretty much no investment whatsoever outside of the things I just noted. Which cost nothing. Arr! And that's pretty crazy when it comes to uh, the approach of the build with the low budget you need to be able to make this build function. A couple things we encountered to, throughout our progression to get to this point was actually very straightforward. When you have an Atlas tree like I do, which has 131 points, which is not what you would have when you have a, your first character looks this way, uh, my tree is heavily focused on a little bit of essence, but heavily on the expedition as well as the rogue exiles here. Something we noticed quite early was the rogue exiles in the early stage around yellow tier maps when we were level 70, 75 was a bit rough to deal with. Shouldn't be a problem, and honestly, I would have played just like that in the early stage of a league start in the first 10 hours if I played this character then as well. Outside of that, my tree has just been focusing on getting the map drops from map bosses, so that's about it, so that doesn't really impact the difficulty of the maps. However, the level of efficiency that we brought to this character was a smooth clearing experience with the outside, the outliers that cause us issues. And those outliers were in the form of essences, not all essences. Very heavy essences could be problematic sometimes, and the main problem they brought to the table was just that our zombies died, which we could just resubmit. That was it. I am not using an enemy guardian in this version, which would have given us more defense, minions more defense, a ton more damage, as well as culling strike, which have helped, would have helped us a ton more. And I believe that the solution to what I'm about to say should be keeping the AG alive as well, even though the low budget. Because the other problem we had was actually expedition. With the juice I have in the expedition, the encounters there could sometimes turn out to be very rip risky, not just for our zombies, but also our absolution. Obviously, level of our absolution would help, but with Bone Offering, which helps tons, I would actually recommend removing the crit nodes and taking the nodes down here to go for Decay Ward. Now, the reason we would do this is not so much for the block, because the life block in here, it's completely useless. But we're also using Bone Offering already, so we don't really need the block chance, but it does help the time frames where we might not have the Bone Offering up and running. And most importantly, the mastery node at the top here that gives you plus 8 to maximum elemental resistances to our minions is extremely, extremely effective to keeping your minions alive. So this is what I would actually do. So what I'm going to do with this character right now is respec these nodes, and I'm going to make my way down here to pick up Decay Ward instead so that I can feel comfortable about enabling an animate guardian with this, and I'm going to run a Kingmaker Leer cast. The chest piece should be a Groot Cool uh, Pelt or a Doppelganger, depending on how, which one is cheaper, and then any type of boots and gloves that would give him life, and that's about it. So that's the kind of approach that I would run with this build, and the next progression of upgrades would basically be getting the AG sorted, and then look into an upgrade on my chest piece. 
Now you have a couple of options. Obviously, Doriani's prototype is not just expensive, but it also forces you into changing the rest of your gear to get negative lightning rest. This is a very expensive piece, and that's something you can skip. In the meantime, I could go for a generic six-link chest piece, such as five blue, one red, by taking a search for a body armor and searching for run red and five blue body armor. And you'll see that you'll find some corrupted pieces and some unidentified pieces. And if you then look for life, for example, say 60 plus, you can see that you can buy this for, uh, sorry, they have to be linked, my bad, uh, six links. So as you can see here, you can buy these for seven chaos and this would help a lot. You can buy this one for eight chaos. You can buy this one for 10, 10, 10, 10. So they're very, uh, there's a lot of options for you to get a very solid upgrade. Or you could do this and just go for a Flesh Crafter, which means that you don't want to utilize Chaos Rest too much in the AEG, and you also don't want to go too heavy on the um, Lightning Penetration, because this one will make your minions ignore elemental uh, resistance on the enemy, so Lightning Pen won't actually do anything, uh, and instead you would have to change that gem for pretty much anything else maybe in hypothermia so you could run like something like this as well i would skip this personally because you don't need this energy shield i'd rather run a six link with some hp to ramp up our own personal defenses because we will have enough damage once i've done that i think my next progression would most likely be to look into better hp for example my helmet is absolute dog shit with 24 hp we have a situation with uh, our amulets have a bench HP, boots have bench HP, there's bench HP on one of the rings, the shield is atrocious, we should get a recovery on life block shield as well. So there's a lot of things that you can do to upgrade your character. And that makes a, a big difference in terms of efficiency for this character. But I will be doing all of these tests live on stream, so stay tuned for more. But this video is covering the low end, which we did from the leak start scenario of playing for, through the campaign, and into upgrading the self-found piece of shit gear into actual low budget, which is basically a trigger wand, Algor Mortis, Darkness of Throne, and a fucking Tabula. This is nothing, and we just killed a, a Eater of Worlds at level 83. It took a while though, but we never had to resummon our minions, and we were never at any risk of actually dying. It's a very comfortable experience so far, and stay clear from essences and harder uh, league mechanics in the tier 16 map content, otherwise you're gonna have to get that extra rest, which will make that a little bit smoother. But that's all I have for you with the low-budget absolution. Uh, the guide's solid, it's working out just as intended. Hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll be posting more with the medium budget and also moving into high budget from there as well in the next coming video. So make sure you hit the like button, subscribe for more content, and as always, till next time, stay safe and keep rocking.